From the outside, this may look like any new Honda, but open the hood and you'll see that it's not like any you've ever driven. And as you can see, there's no internal combustion engine. We've got a 12 volt battery, but also a lithium ion battery towards the rear of the vehicle. Uh, the lithium ion battery really uh, acts as a supplemental power source. The motor is powered by a hydrogen fuel cell and has zero emissions. The most that ever comes out of the tailpipe is a little bit of water. The FCX Clarity is also a leap forward in practical design. Previous Honda fuel cell vehicles are small and workmanlike. And previously we had a 400 pound stack. It has now decreased 60% in size. That 150 pound fuel cell stack, which is slightly larger than a, a large CPU, is now down here under the center console, which opens up all that space. Hydrogen is stored in a carbon fiber tank below the trunk. Cavity Associated Press see. writer Ken Thomas says the Clarity offers smooth acceleration in the city and has no trouble getting to 70 miles an hour on the highway. He calls it a fun, hip ride. Yeah, that's one of the first things you notice. It's incredibly quiet. Um, as you, as you drive along, and especially when you're at, at a stop light, you get used, you're used to a vibration, a humming of, of an engine, and that really doesn't exist in a, in a fuel cell. Honda has leased about 200 of the cars to drivers in Southern California. Tens of thousands of people applied for the $600 a month three-year leases. While the car has a 280-mile range, the real challenge may be finding a place to fill up. There are just three filling stations in the Los Angeles area, in Washington, D.C., where AP tested the Clarity, there's only one. Honda says it's working on a home unit that would tap into a natural gas supply to create the hydrogen. In an age of expensive gas and growing concern for the environment, the Clarity may show us that automobiles of the future are closer than we think. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.